Hey guys, today it's time for another episode of Mopar News, where we talk about some interesting and relevant things that are happening in the world of Mopar. You can find our topic list for today on screen, and without wasting any more time, let's get right into the news. I want to start with some sweet new special edition Ram trucks that were announced at the annual State Fair of Texas. Those models include the 2022 Ram 1500 TRX Ignition Edition, the 2022 Ram 1500 Limited Ram Red Edition, and the 2022 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn South Fork Edition models. So first we'll look at that Ram 1500 TRX Ignition Edition. Last year the TRX released as a 2021 model and it got a special launch edition that was limited to just 702 units in anvil grey color. Of course all the hype for this truck is the Hellcat engine under the hood with 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. The truck has been able to hit 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and quarter mile in 12.3 seconds according to car and driver and that makes it the quickest pickup they've ever tested. So this new one is finished in an incredible ignition orange color that really pops and makes this truck look incredible. If it does seem a little familiar to you, Ram did have a special edition 2017 Ram 1500 Sport version, as well as a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic Express as well, both finished with this paint color. There's only going to be 975 trucks produced in total here, 875 for the US and another 100 for Canada, with a massive MSRP of $91,585, plus a destination charge of $1,695, and there's an even bigger price tag of $125,000, plus $2,795 destination for Canadian buyers. Other than the paint, you get the TR Level 2 Equipment Group, with new 18 inch machine face black wheels, exterior graphics, cargo tie downs, a spray and bed liner, and Mopar bed step. Inside it's almost the same as the other TRXs, but there's copperhead orange stitching, and embroidered TRX logos on the seat backs, an orange center console badge replaces the regular red one, copper carbon fiber accent packages in there, there's slush mats with orange RAM logos, and special orange tweeters. Other standard features here include the 12 inch Uconnect system, heads up display, panoramic sunroof, and the pedestrian emergency braking feature. Second is the 2022 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn South Fork Edition. This is a model exclusive to the American market with a cost of $61,620 plus around $1,700 destination. It's meant to replace last year's Limited Longhorn 10th Anniversary Edition. This comes with the multifunction tailgate, deployable bed step, spray and bed liner, and Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires, but the best stuff is saved for the interior, where it gets a beautiful and exclusive mountain brown color with bucket seats, suede door bolsters, and leather inserts. The third special edition Ram vehicle pushes us into our second topic, and that would be Stellantis' partnership with the Red Organization, which is a not-for-profit group that raises money to fight AIDS and, more recently, COVID. To show their support, there are three special edition vehicles, so the first is from Ram, based off a limited Ram 1500 with a 5 foot 7 inch box. The only real difference here is a red Ram text on the grill, red Ram badging on the door, and another badge that's stitched on the center console lid. Red Rams can be had with three different engines, the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, the e-torque mild hybrid version of that Hemi, or the 3 liter Eco Diesel V6. And pricing is unknown at this time. The second red vehicle is the 2022 Jeep Compass High Altitude, and the third is the all-new Fiat 500 Electric, but that's available only in Europe. Each will have their own unique red brand design cues, including red badging on the exterior and interior of each vehicle. The next piece of news is a bit depressing, as the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk appears to be on its way out. This was the Hellcat variation of the Grand Cherokee SUV, first introduced in 2018 with the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8, churning out 707 horsepower and 645 pound-feet of torque. Instead of the Hellcat nameplate, it was called the Trackhawk. If you weren't aware, the Trackhawk was based on the 4th gen WK2 platform that was around since 2011, and now the 5th gen WL models have released for 2021. It appears that the original plan was to carry over this Trackhawk for the next gen, 
but sources within Stellantis now say this won't be happening as they push for electrification and are forced to comply with stricter emissions regulations. So it appears that this powerful SUV will be discontinued on November 20th of 2021, and then it's gone. So if you want one, you'll need to act fast. To avoid any confusion, the new WL will still have a Trackhawk model, but instead of the V8, there will be a new global medium engine T6 inline 6 plug-in hybrid engine to replace it. And that's estimated to have around 525 horsepower with instant torque delivery. So as the electrified future comes fast and furious in this changing world, the V8s are on the chopping block. Going forward, that should mean the Trackhawk will become more and more rare. The sales for this vehicle started really strong in the first year in 2018, with 7,456 units sold globally and 5,232 for the USA alone. 2019 saw a huge decline, with 1,693 units sold worldwide, followed by just 1,148 in 2020. Add a few more for 2021, and we're looking at just over 10,000 Trackhawks ever made. Now we can shift our focus to colors. The first bit of info here is the Gold Rush color that was available on the 2020 and 2021 Dodge Chargers and Challengers has now been discontinued going forward. This color was launched on the 2020 Challenger 50th Anniversary Editions and then carried over to 2021 for high performance models like the Scat Packs and Hellcats. All the Gold Rush cars had to be ordered with a satin black hood, roof, and deck lid. So the production ended for this car at the end of July 2021. I'm not sure how popular this color was in terms of sales, but it definitely looked really good, especially paired with the black accents and paint. On the flip side, there have been several high-impact paint colors added to the 2021 Jeep Wrangler this year. We'll start with Tuscadero Paint Code PHP. This is a vibrant pink color, and honestly it should sell pretty well in my opinion. The name choice was based on the Happy Days TV sitcom, named after Fonzie's girlfriend Pinky. While Jeep describes it as a deep and intense chromatic magenta, it's the same color as the Furious Fuchsia that was available a long while ago on the 2010 Dodge Challenger RT and SRT8 models. This color is only available until November 2021 on the Jeeps, with a price of $395 US, and can be had on all Wranglers, including the Rubicon, 4xE, and 392 models. As for the other colors, first came Chief Paint Code PQB, which is a color that has been in and out of the Wrangler lineup. It dropped in November 2020 and ended production February 1st of 2021, adding a $245 cost. Next came Gecko Green, paint code PFM, available on some 2021 Gladiator and Wrangler models, again $245 US. That color will stop production on the Wranglers in August and the Gladiator in November. Finally, we can look at the 2022 Chrysler 300, where Chrysler has taken away three paint options from 2021, Amethyst, Canyon Sunset, and Ocean Blue, leaving six other colors for the lineup. The next thing is something that I never thought I'd need to talk about in depth, but that's the fact that the Mopars are being stolen so frequently that the Michigan State Police had to issue a special intelligence bulletin on this matter. These vehicles include the Charger, Challenger, Durango, Ram 1500, and Grand Cherokee. Only on 7, an epidemic of car thefts here in Metro Detroit by some high-tech thieves. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. I'm Dave Llewellyn. These criminals are literally hacking their way into some of the most popular cars. An internal Michigan State Police document spells out the problem. Thieves are targeting FCA products, Dodge Challengers, Chargers and Durangos, plus Jeep Grand Cherokees. The document spells out how hundreds have been stolen over the last two years, and it is not just Michigan. The document shows five other states have also been hit. Stellantis tried to issue a quick fix in February for the 6.4 and 6.2 liter V8 engines with an enhanced security valet mode, but that didn't deter the thieves too much. So now the company has created a three-tier theft mode feature. First, there's that enhanced security valet, which limits the engine to idle speed where you can only use 2.8 horsepower and 22 pound-feet of torque, making it very tough to get away quickly. The second feature is called Key Programming Lockdown, coming in early 2022. This stops the robbers from programming new key fobs after breaking into the vehicle, but I'm not sure how at this time. And yes, you won't be able to make keys yourself, you have to go to the dealer and buy a new module and new keys as well. The final measure is intrusion mode, which activates the vehicle's alarm system if there's any broken glass or vehicle movement, 
and that can be deactivated through the Uconnect system, of course, if needed. The final thing I want to talk about is a new Jeep for Latin America, one that North America won't be seeing on their roads, and that's the Jeep Commander. Of course, this nameplate used to be available in North America with the 2006 to 2010 Jeep Commander, but it's been long gone ever since. This is a mid-sized crossover launched on August 26th in Brazil and was a huge commercial success with Jeep taking over 2,800 orders in the first six hours of availability. Also called the Commander H1 or H6 for the Indian market, this is the biggest and most luxurious SUV that Jeep has ever brought to Latin America. Based on the second gen Compass, this vehicle is built on the small wide global platform and offers three row seating in either front wheel drive or four wheel drive. There's only two trim levels available, Limited and Overland. As for the design, it's still got the boxy Jeep look and has full LED lights with a seven slot Jeep grille. Inside there's a new steering wheel design with a full digital cluster and a floating Uconnect 5 infotainment system, mostly sharing parts with the Compass. Since it's priced higher than the Compass, the cabin is definitely more refined and luxurious with black leather and brown suede materials, burnished cooper stitching, and Jeep 1941 embroidery on different parts of the brown leather seats. On to performance, there's a 1.3 liter turbo flex gas engine with 182 horsepower, 199 pound-feet of torque, front wheel drive, and an Azen 6-speed automatic transmission. The other choice is a 2 liter turbo diesel with 168 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque with all-wheel drive and a ZF 9-speed automatic. So that's the end of this video guys, a whole lot of new info on the 2021 and beyond Mopars. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.